Well, it is a sight no one wants to see. Two pit bulls angrily charging right toward you. A Westchester man says it happened to him and ended with his very own dog being killed. CBS 2's Roseanne Teas joins us live from the western suburb where the victim and his neighbors are calling for action. Roseanne. That's right, Rob and Erica. Tonight, a big turnout expected at this village hall meeting. Why? Because it's been almost a month since this deadly dog attack, and some residents are outraged that the dogs haven't been put down, and they're worried they may strike again. It was hellish. 81-year-old Carl Panic says he still can't sleep nights thinking about the deadly attack on his 7-year-old Dachshund Harry by two neighborhood pit bulls. He was simply taking the dog on his nightly walk in his neighborhood of 50 years. And all of a sudden, they're they're, they're, they're on us. It just shredded them. It was, it, was, it was like nothing. Panic tried to push the dogs off, but wound up with 15 puncture wounds on his hands. This neighbor says she encountered the dogs moments earlier while unloading groceries. They were like in like a pack form, like hunting, like running, sprinting. It, it's like they had like a motive. I mean, it's scary. You don't think you'd have to be armed to walk your small dog or any dog at this point. Granados and a friend got away but are among a growing number of residents calling for action. The police chief ruled the dogs dangerous but they were allowed to go home where we found three beware of dog signs posted today. Little comfort for worried neighbors. They got out from that house once before. There's a lot of children around a block or two down. There's a park. The school is a block down as well. It's it's dangerous. And they could have gone for me. But she didn't. City ordinance requires three offenses before a dangerous dog is confiscated. Panic, who now cares for his daughter's dog, wants a penalty as harsh as the offense. I'd like to see him put down. The police chief tells me there are typically six to eight dog bites in Westchester a year, but one veteran officer said this was the worst attack he had seen in 28 years. Now, tonight, the police chief will announce the next steps they are taking to do something about this dangerous dog or two dangerous dogs. Live in Westchester tonight, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Rob? Yeah, that's understandable, Roseanne. Thanks.